Hey guys, it's Ben with Aqua and welcome to our first installment of Aqua Video Breakdowns where we take a look at clips of people wing foiling or uh, at least trying to and uh, then do a frame by frame assessment of what went wrong, what went right, and what techniques or even exercises can be done to get better. All right, so in our first episode, we're going to take a look at uh, somebody we'll call JB and the art of the wing flip, which I know uh, may seem for many of you to be, you know, kind of basic and, and elementary, but you would be surprised how many uh, new people um, struggle with this. Um, I know I did my, my first time out. So maybe this looks like you or uh, someone that you uh, know who's trying to learn. Um, so in this uh, breakdown, I am going to go over uh, really what to avoid or what not to do, as well as uh, things that uh, you should be cognizant of. Uh, so with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video breakdown. Okay, so the first thing I see here is that um, he is on the board or has scrambled onto the board, which is key. Um, I really have to stress, don't try and uh, flip the wing while uh, swimming or, or floating um, next to your board. Um, and the reason for that is, you know, just basic um, physics, essentially. Uh, basically, you know, by imposing a, a, a lifting force, um, or force anyways, to try to, to get the wing uh, up, I mean, basically, you're going to um, naturally be pushed down or uh, under the water even. Um, if you're in the water, this is not great since you'll effectively be, be dunking yourself and that's pretty much the last thing you want to do or, or need. Now the other thing you'll see um, in the later part of the clip is that he, while he's on the board, he's trying to flip the wing basically from, um, well, from various positions, but, you know, uh, namely a, a knee start position because that's um, really all he knows. Um, he should be actually straddling the board in order to give himself the most um, leverage and a solid base to uh, perform this maneuver. Okay, so again, as you'll see, he's trying to lift um, the wing, which is um, flipped upside down. When it flips, it invariably um, gets uh, water, whether it's ocean water or lake water. Um, that ends up pooling, um, usually within the the wing canopy. So you're not only trying to lift a wing, or by trying to lift it up, uh, as he's trying to do by the strut, you're also trying to lift maybe you know close to around a gallon or so in in extra water. And moreover, it, it puts um, unnecessary tension and stress uh, on, on the wing structure. Also, you have to realize that, that these things are designed and built to fly. When the wing is, is upside down, um, it doesn't really care or know that it's upside down. So no matter how strong you are or how high you get it, it's going to want to dive down again towards the water. And also keep in mind that this was only a 4.5 4 um, square meter wing. It wasn't even that large of a wing. All right, now let's take a look at this at the in the first person perspective at full speed. And so the very first thing you see is me straddling the board. Next you see me reeling in the leash, or reeling in the wing rather. And because I've done this enough times, I already know which direction I need to go in, which way is upwind, which way is downwind. So as I'm reeling it in, as soon as I can reach for it, I, I, I grab the, the neutral handle. And almost as soon as I've got the neutral handle secure, my uh, free hand or my upwind hand is already making its way underneath the strut towards the uh, wing tip edge that is uh, upwind. And at the same time, uh, lifting it up slowly, um, presenting it to the wind and actually getting it flipped over almost in one fluid movement. 
Lastly, once the wing has been successfully flipped, you do want to make sure that you reel in uh, the leash and get the wing um, very, very tight to you. Okay, now we're going to take a look at my friend Dennis's uh, first attempts at handling the wing on the water. And you see here he does a pretty good job of first reeling in the wing nice and tight. He then grabs the uh, neutral or flag out handle, but then what does he do? He immediately releases it, and uh, even worse, he is now trying to muscle or overpower the wing. You can see I then uh, try to remind him of the importance of uh, hanging on to the flag out handle or neutral handle, but uh, he then proceeds to go ahead and let it go again, and uh, he really wants to muscle that wing over. But as you can see, as soon as he uh, uh, has the neutral handle, the flag out handle in place, how easy it is for him to just basically allow the wind to do the work um, and uh, flip the wing for him. And so he seems to have it nice and uh, under control, so I, I go ahead and, and leave him uh, to keep practicing until he sees my back is turned, and then of course he lets go of the uh, neutral handle again and tries to muscle the wing. <laughs> before he ends up catching himself uh, and uh, is able to present the wing to the wind and flip it over quite easily. That's a really nice pre presentation actually right there. Look how easy that is. Anyways guys, that is my how-to on how to uh, flip uh, your wing. Uh, I hope you found it useful and enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, we sure would appreciate it if you'd hit like as well as subscribe to this channel. It really does uh, help us out. Also, uh, regardless of where you are on the planet, uh, if you happen to be on Facebook and would like, please feel free to join our Facebook group, Aqua Arizona Windsurfing Kiteboarding and Wing Foiling Association. Uh, in the meantime, as always, this is Ben with Aqua wishing you good winds and happy sailing.